Oh, jeez. Good Lord. I'm so blown up. Oh. Thank you. Oh, boy. A little nerve damage messing with my arm a little bit. like we're in Japan, huh? Well, post match comments? Uh, it feels good. I don't feel good at all. Whoa. I'm happy we won, but I feel terrible. The match ending feels good, because we're done. Those guys, what? Are, those guys are so hard. You know what I'm happy about, Matt? What? We have five days off. Holy crap, that's like that's like an eternity nowadays in 2018. We have to turn $10,000 bookings now. It's like, it's like I gotta see my family sometimes. This is ridiculous. My birthday's coming up. Yeah, Nick wanted the it Comic off. Con wanted us for a quick two hour meet and greet for 10,000 each. That's a shoot. And I said, I, I, said, Nick, I you're wanna a... be home for my birthday. Nick's turning 29, what a diva. Like he needs to celebrate his birthday. He's got two kids, he's a father. What does he have to celebrate his birthday for? <laughs> uh, what a match, huh? That's great. That's great. Those, those guys are awesome, honestly. Yeah. I'd love to wrestle those guys every night. Well, not, not really. But I would yeah, love we... to wrestle them once a year. That'd be great. <laughs> They're so freaking but good. You know what? They, uh, yeah. We've beat them twice, but I'll we say this. We've been them both now. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say yeah. this. They, I predicted uh, we were going to Melcher Driver evil, too. You got yesterday right. in the presser, when Kevin was there. Tooth? Kevin was there, did I? Oh, uh, I thought you did. No, I probably did. Whew, who knows? Who knows? <sighs> Any questions? Yeah. Do you take pride in being able to work with anybody and everybody? Yeah, God, we're so good at this. Like, we, we go all around the world, jet lag perpetually out of our effing minds on a yearly basis. We go to these different time zones where these guys are all nice and they've slept, they've dieted, they've trained. Nick and I come right off the plane and we still beat them in their own home country. So it's fun to come here in California, SCU, and beat them in our home state yeah. with my wife cheering from the crowd. My His kids, kids watch. probably asleep, actually. Probably don't care. They don't care. They're watching Peppa Pig on their iPhone or something. <laughs> Even my three-year-old boy is jaded. Yeah, he doesn't care. I come home with a new title. My daughter's like, oh, that's cool. Do you, you want to bring a bigger one home next time? I'm like, honey, this is the heavyweight tag team, the IWGP heavyweight tag team championship belt. Get real. But it keeps us humble. Pentagon Phoenix, if it's the Briscoes, if it's Eagles, and Pentagon and Phoenix especially. I would love to wrestle those guys. Those guys are awesome. Those guys were having a great year. Uh, I'd like to bring them here. That'd be great. I'd like to I'd bring like them to, to Ring yeah. of Honor. That's why we booked them on our show all in on September 1st at the Sears Center. I'm talking really fast right now. I'm on fire. A lot of charisma. This is great. This is going very good. Uh, yep. You guys talk about how you're taking, you're being very selective about your bookings right now, turning things down for yeah. personal reasons. Within wrestling, what mountains do you guys see yourself left to climb? Oh, Mount yeah. Rushmore. Within wrestling, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> he's got a stabilizer camera like you do for being the elite. I do my best, thank you. At it's this point, good. I'll uh, I'll be honest. We don't have any more titles to win. <sighs> I'm proud of everyone. We have one, so now it's it's really all about just making money. Yeah, and uh, one personal goal we would like to have is be known as the best tag team of all time. So right. that, that's probably the last goal that or I. Or how like how, how cool would it be to? win the WWE Tag Team Championship belts and not even have to perform on their show. That'd be great. A little one-off? Yeah, a little one-off. That'd be one -off. fun. Yeah. Do you guys feel like entering the heavyweight division has allowed you to unlock a new level of tanning? <laughs> so I was in Maui for a week, so this is kind of a shoot tan. Yeah. And uh, Nick, Nick put a little bit of a, a spray on me, too. So I got he double was, the He fun. was blessed with dark uh, yeah. skin, as it and is. And huge arms. <laughs> and huge arms. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard for me to tan, so I have to do it all fake. Yeah, you're the light, uh, light eyed, light skinned yeah. Jackson brother. <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think the state of tag team wrestling is right now? Uh, it's it was, it, when, 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 when we have these, uh, I'll be honest, it would be non existent without us. <laughs> that's uh, Dave, Dave Melser laughs because he knows that's real. Right? We've yeah. we've fed the competition. People want to be us, so it's brought in more tag teams to the level. Yeah, uh, without us, it probably wouldn't exist. On a major scale, well, it doesn't like, exist. So. Like every every year, like a new team comes, right? And everybody's like, "Man, that's the best tag team in the world." I'm like, "They had two good matches," you know what I mean? And then they either one of them gets hurt, or the team gets split, or something happens. And then a year later, everybody's like, "Whatever happened to that tag team?" But, but the Young Bucks are still good. <laughs> hey, they're still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Like it's been like that for like literally 15 years. How long now? does it? That, yeah. How long so, like, does it take for us to finally get that? I think one of the, the achievements we wanted as a tag team, like when we were first starting, we were like. Tag team wrestling was okay 15 years ago. Yeah. Was, I mean, I don't even remember the state of wrestling 15 years ago, but I remember there's at least some tag teams, right? In the TLC right? era. Sure, sure. But I'm talking like on the independents, yeah. everywhere else. And we were like, you know what? Let's let's try to let's try to jump off ladders and crash through tables like the Hardy Boys. They're pretty good at it. 
And, and I think I think we could do pretty pretty good like them. And I think tag team wrestling needs another brother team and, and, and another team with a, with a hybrid style. Like, hey Nick, let's go be the Harlem Globetrotters of professional wrestling, <laughs> and, and let's travel from this place to this place and gather all these styles right and, and into this giant hybrid and, and make it our own. For years, people called us copycats, and they said, oh. These guys copy these guys. No, 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 no. We're all of those things you loved about tag team wrestling put into one better version of that. So kind of to that, what would you say was your favorite era of tag team wrestling? The TLC era. TLC era was fun. I like w- watching that. the Rockers. Well, that, yeah, the Rockers too. Yeah, favorite. I like always watching the Rockers take on the Brain Busters. Like, watch I watch those matches to this day. Yeah, watch them to this yeah. day, and it still lives up. Yeah. So yeah. it's tag matches like that. I like I liked watching the Rockers just face all the big guys and see how they yeah. dodged them and ducked them. I thought it was, it was fun. It captured my imagination. How'd you like the uh, performing townhouse? That was fun, man. <laughs> it was good. Uh, it was good. A bucket list, right? Sure. We, sure. We've never been. A, we've never no. even been to this building. No, I've never even set foot yeah, in here. Yeah. So it's to, old as to hell. To do it on a, a big stage, that was, yeah, <laughs> it is old as hell. But yeah. it's historic. You could feel. It kind of. Uh, rem- it reminds me of the the, the old Grand the Olympic Forum Auditorium, too. the yeah. Western Forum. Uh-huh, yeah. That that yeah. feel like we've you walk to, in and you're like these walls have yeah. seen oh, some yeah. stuff. They, sure. they speak. You know, yeah. We've we've got to wrestle at the the Forum once and yeah. it felt kind of like this. But, yeah. yeah. But the crowd was way hotter. Sure. Yeah. Eyes turning to the main event uh, tonight now that's mm-hmm. finally here. Do you have any final thoughts, Kenny versus Cody? Well, what that could mean for the future, yeah. changes, I'll tell you trepidation? This. Yeah, I'll tell you this. We have uh, we told Cody to to his face. We said, this time around, we're on Kenny's side. So yeah. just go at it and have a good match. You know, with, with that being said, though, like, God, I love I love Cody. Cody. Cody came to us about a year and a half, two years ago. I don't know. Uh and uh, I, I just took a like, chance. Like, like immediately though, we hit it off with this guy. Yeah. We're like, this guy's great. And immediately we were like buddies, you know. And uh, and we've seen him turn kind of into this weird power hungry type of monster where money and power is more that means more than than, than love and friendship mm-hmm. and family. And like I, I told him today, I said, listen, I love you. I don't like the guy that you've become these last couple months. But I wish him luck. And I told him to be safe and to be careful. I don't want to see him get hurt. I love the guy. What do you think about the longevity of Bullet Club? Longevity of Bullet Club. Last question. Uh, You know, I I think... What was the question? The longevity of Bullet Club. I think that... It's a good question. That Bullet Club's kind of been a group that's never really had a, uh, a, a true leader. Like, we've all put the titles on certain guys, but this has always been a team thing. Yeah, team So effort. we're going to survive no matter what, uh, whether or not it's, it's carrying on with Cody or without Cody. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, man, I'm sore. I'm so beat up. Oh, jeez. Woo! Thank you. Oh, jeez.